those stories in a moment, but we're going to begin with some breaking news, and it is most disturbing and frightening. A man busted by officials who say he was planning to target and kill Jews in New York City. The alleged plot timed for the upcoming Jewish holidays next month. I would as usual reporter Josh Einiger is in the newsroom with the breaking story. Josh. Liz, the upcoming High Holy Days and also the upcoming one-year anniversary of the October 7th Hamas massacre in Israel. According to the criminal complaint, Mohammed Shazeb Khan planned to inflict maximum harm on Jews here in New York. In parts of Brooklyn sit some of the most densely populated Hasidic Jewish communities on the planet. Communities where tonight people are walking to Friday night services under the watchful eye of law enforcement, which has already deployed its holiday staffing for extra security. According to a federal complaint unsealed this afternoon, Khan, a 20 year old Pakistani citizen living in Canada, had reposted an ISIS propaganda online, attracting the attention of undercover law enforcement agents with whom he allegedly plotted to come to New York and attack crowds of Hasidic Jews, specifically either on October 7th the anniversary of the Hamas attack, or October 11th, which is Yom Kippur, the holiest day on the Jewish calendar. The complaint says Khan instructed the undercovers to obtain AR-style assault rifles, this image right out of the complaint, also ammunition and other material to carry out the attacks, including ISIS-inspired clothing, and he plotted, allegedly, to attack specific Jewish religious centers in Brooklyn, telling the undercover agents Quoting now, New York is perfect to target Jews because it has the largest Jewish population in America. He allegedly added, we are going to New York to slaughter them. Police sources tell Eyewitness News this suspect was aspirational and not operational, meaning he didn't actually have access to weapons, but he had done extensive research on his targets, even had found a short-term apartment to rent, and he was arrested just 12 miles from the U.S.-Canada border on his way here. He's being held tonight in Canada, but will soon be extradited to the Southern District here in Manhattan to face federal terror charges. Back to you, Liz and Bill. Wow, quite disturbing, Josh. Thank you very much.